Those two look familiar. Ah, it's Ipe and Shinojo! <laughs> Guess they must be good friends, huh? Anyway, let's go say hi. Hi, Ipe. Hi, Shinojo. What are you guys doing here? Oh, it's you. Thanks so much for your help last time. I was just ordering some clothes when I ran into him. You know these two as well? Yes, they helped me and Master Kamiji out a great deal last time. I've never had the chance to say thank you properly. What about you? How do you know them? Also a chance encounter. Our Lady had them join us as additional guards for a goods escort in order to sneak out of Rito undetected. So we all know each other, huh? What a coincidence! Ah, uh, not exactly. We've only just met. We both came here to order some clothes and got to chatting. Somehow we ended up on the topic of Master Kamaji and Lady Hiragi's relationship. Wait, it's okay to talk about that, right? <sighs> it's probably fine. They've known about it for a long time already. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers those two had a thing. In fact, that was why Chisato wanted us to deliver a letter. That's old news, though. So, why has it come up now? <gasps> Are they taking the next step or something? We have reason to suspect that they'll be getting married soon. Wow! That's great! They can finally make it official! Of course, this is just personal speculation. They haven't announced anything, and we wouldn't dare to ask. I was instructed to place an order for some formal wear for a big banquet. Turns out that Ipe received the exact same instructions as I did. They're both preparing for a banquet at the same time. They're both purchasing the kind of fine wine and confectionery normally reserved for big festivals. It's hard not to put two and two together. Uh, Lady Hiragi has been in high spirits recently, and I heard she's on a diet as well. Surely it's all for the wedding. This is wonderful news! But, um... What's wrong? Oh, don't mind me. She's about to be happily married to the love of her life. I genuinely couldn't be happier for her. Right? I think so too. It's fantastic. Yes, but we shouldn't let ourselves get overexcited. What if it's all a big misunderstanding? As things stand, we have no actual proof of a wedding. Now, if they sent me out to deliver wedding invitations, that would be a different story. Shinoju doesn't look like he's taking this very well at all. Uh, sorry, I just haven't slept well recently. I'm ashamed to be so out of sorts at work. I'm not living up to my responsibilities, either to the Kanjo Commission or to my lady. Are you worried about their wedding? Uh, not exactly, it's just... Everything feels kind of up in the air until they make it official. <sighs> I get what you mean. I really do. We need this wedding to be set in stone before the celebrations can really begin. What should we do? Should we just straight up ask them? I don't know. That seems a bit rude. If Ayaka knows about it, that means it's a sure thing! I... I don't think it's a good idea to bother the Yashiro Commission about this. Ah, uh, it's fine. He and Ayaka are practically best buds. There's nothing to worry about. I see. Then, thank you. Thank you very much. Having a definite answer will stop my thoughts from running wild. Let's go to the Kamisato Estate! This place impresses me every time I come here. It's so magnificent, but still so elegant. We'll just wait here. We don't want to cause any extra trouble for you. Ayaka wouldn't mind. Honestly, even if we did come with you, we wouldn't know what to say or do once we were inside. <laughs> so we'll just leave you to it. All right then, we won't be long. Thank you. 
Without looking at the board, you've ruined my strategy in one move. Amazing. Hmm. Now what should I do next? Ayaka, Toma, it's us! Huh? <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. If you're looking for my lady, I'm afraid she's not here right now. Oh? Huh? That voice. Toma, would that happen to be the Traveler? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. Ayaka speaks of you constantly. Finally, today is the day. I am head of the Kamisato clan and Yashiro commissioner, Kamisato Ayato. Greetings, both. I have long been indebted to you on my sister's behalf. Finally, I have the chance to express my profoundest gratitude to you in person. Ayaka is out today. If you are here regarding anything related to the Kamisato clan, you are quite welcome to discuss it with me instead. Oh, I... Uh, hi! Your flattering words... flatter us. Um, <laughs> please excuse the suddenness of our visit, for it is most improper etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth are you talking like that? Well, he seems like a pretty powerful person. He's already working his way up Paimon's list of people to never mess with. Look, as soon as he stands up, the whole atmosphere in the room changes, and it feels like you got to be super polite. <laughs> you shower me with praise undeserved, my little guest. There is no need to be quite so formal. This is a private residence, so please, relax. Oh, good. Because that whole spiel was really tiring just now. All right, now that that's over, Paimon's just going to ask the question. We heard a rumor that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato are going to get married soon. Do you know anything about that? Oh? I wouldn't have thought you'd heard about that yet. I see. Well, it's true. It wasn't long ago that I received the news myself. The head clans of two commissions are to become joined through marriage. This is big news for the whole of Inazuma. Since the Yashiro Commission presides over cultural and ceremonial affairs, it closely involves us, too. Yes. And since the commissions are kind of the face of the Almighty Shogun to the masses, this wedding is one that we have to treat as a serious affair. Right! Makes sense! Ah, oh, two true lovers becoming husband and wife. What a happy occasion. It is. High-profile matrimonial links between two commissions are extremely rare. But these two truly love each other. Tradition should give way to freedom in this case. All right, then. I'll be sure to pay them a visit to send the best wishes of the Kamisato clan. Hmm. No need. I'll visit them personally this time. Huh? But you have other things to be doing. This is a marriage between the Kujo clan and the Hiragi clan. The Kamisato clan must demonstrate an appropriate level of respect. The work of the Yashiro Commission is indeed multifarious. Normally, weddings and other ceremonies would come under the supervision of my sister. But she is presently occupied with other matters, and I happen to have a little time to spare. This will be a good chance for me to pay a visit to the bride and groom. Oh, and would you two care to join me? I presume you two have a special connection with the individuals in question, or you would not be quite so interested in this matter. This being the case, why not come and offer your best wishes too? Or is my presumption incorrect? Oh, it's not as interesting as you make it sound. No special connections here. Super ordinary ones, actually. We just agreed to help deliver a letter this one time, that's all. Uh, although wait, does that mean we helped make this wedding happen? Eh, all right then. I cannot thank you enough. Your mere presence shall surely mean we are spared the futile pursuit known as small talk. Wait, you're the Yashiro Commissioner, but you can't do small talk? <laughs> Small talk is a chore. Of course, there are some people in the world who quite enjoy doing chores, 
but I am not one of them. Toma, I'm heading out with my two guests now. I'll leave the residence in your capable hands. Not a problem. Take care, my lord. Ah, you're finally... Ah, oh, Yashiro Commissioner! Hmm. Who are these two? They're friends of ours. Paimon will do the introductions. So it's true. Well, there we have it. That's it then. So be it. Great, so our hunch was spot on. It is a little inappropriate for me to have shared news of this magnitude with you, so I would be much obliged if you could keep it in strict confidence until an official public announcement is made. B don't worry, sir. We, we give you our word. We won't tell anyone about it. That puts my mind at ease. Now, on the topic. We'd like to pay a visit to the Kujo clan. Would you mind leading the way for us? Of course not. I'd be honored. I guess this is where I... Goodbye, then. Aw, cheer up, Shinojo. I'll try. Thank you. All right, then. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ipe. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Cujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task, so I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hard-working, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing, and I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department! <laughs> Come on now, you're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... um... It's perfectly all right. Please, continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's... too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a, a colorful variety of opinions. But of course, you will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This is positive, and no doubt the beginning of important change. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. If you choose now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. 
Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret by sending letters. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst! I can see where you're coming from, but you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. <sighs> yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. <sighs> so coy. Huh? Really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending, so I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter, and then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess it was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, clearly and completely. And you know what? I think it was about time. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Sorry, but Paimon's been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this dude, or does everyone in love act like this? He just won't stop talking! Uh. Apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, even if it's kinda irritating to see you all smug like this, it's still a happy occasion. Good luck on the day, and have a happy wedding! Thank you all. It means a lot. We have some other business to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. Seems busy. That must be true for anyone about to get married, right? It's a happy kind of busy, though. You're right. Kujo Kamaji is on Cloud Nine. What do you think, Traveler? He chalked it up to her being coy, but that doesn't sound like the Hiragi Chisato I know. It bothers me also. But unfortunately, attempting to seek the truth of the matter would likely be fruitless. Across stuff like this on our adventures, we always find a way to get to the bottom of it. I see. So that's how adventurers think. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, we have very little information to go on, and I must be cautious about taking a stance. This makes it difficult to investigate. Secondly, and more importantly, the person involved doesn't seem to care. If we intervene without his blessing, good intentions may lead to catastrophic results. You do have a point. Kamaji doesn't seem worried at all. Everything in the world is intertwined. What looks like a simple outcome is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. Seeking the full truth would be a long and laborious process. It would be inefficient. Sort of. I have to take this approach, or the work of the Yashiro Commissioner would never be done. My opinion is something like this. When something strange happens, 
Instead of trying to find out what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the outcome is positive, and no one was deceived or harmed in the process, then it is acceptable. We don't know yet. After all, we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's thoughts are, do we? I have to say, I'm impressed by your ability to zero in on the issue from such a short meeting. Most insightful of you. You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Huh? But Chisato and Kamiji have already talked everything through, haven't they? Only if we are to take Kujo Kamiji at his word. But there are two sides to every story. I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's angle on this. Huh. Makes sense, but Paimon still doesn't quite get it. Don't worry about it. I was planning to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take the opportunity to hear her thoughts. If she's as committed as Kujo Kamiji, perhaps they can navigate the challenges ahead successfully. But if not... Well, life isn't always a smooth journey. <laughs>